Hey, what's up, cum guzzlers? It is Opex here. Got a nice game for you. Actually, I got a, a set of games. Got a couple of Random Heroes games. I have uh, an ally named Walter White. He is going to be spawning as a Night Elf player here on Wetlands, and I'm random spawning as it looks like a human. I'm going to speed this up until things start to happen. Ready to work. So it's human, human versus human, Job's done. night elf. Quick wisp scout. Job's done. Some Walter spotting a barracks, a random hero coming out, and about the same thing on the other side, except no hero coming out. Job's hmm. done. No hero. And it looks like we do have a. Alright, so, these whips are going to spot these, uh, pretty much the same thing, dual human, uh, ally, Players Walter Wake, trying attack. to bring down this, uh, uh, shop. I'm doing the most standard thing, um, you know, quick tower, just in case, see what happens. But I got a Torrin Chieftain. Looks like I need to beef that motherfucker up. Is under siege. Excellent harass, Leonardo Hansky. Excellent harass. Thanks for the feed. Come back tomorrow. A player's forces are under attack. Alright, so I'm gonna militia creep this out. I probably took a little too many militia. What's that? Four militia to creep this out. Maybe I was nervous of a little harass attempt. I don't know. But we're gonna have this go underway. A nice scout farm in the corner for the enemy. Lich Footman. It's actually not bad. Coming up with a lumber mill. I'm still trying to figure out why humans do that. I wonder is it a noob a thing? Is it a quick tech attack. thing? I mean I know why they do it, but I don't get the skill set of why they do it. Anyway, so enemy might lose the footman, lose the footman. Uh, easily going to take down the rest of this camp. Um, even this level 6 necrolite. Looks my Torn Chieftain will be getting level 2. Player's forces are under attack. Alright. Pop up on my computer. Fuck that shit. Got level 2 on that torn chieftain. I don't got many items. Ally deciding to creep this out. Still level 1. Uh, going after this in a moment. A little late on that creep camp, but better late than never, right? So, typical human fast expand. That is very fast expand points. Um, a player's forces are under attack. Now I'm trying to figure out what to do. Should I creep out mine and start a town? Do I creep this out? I think I'm going to creep this out. Alright. A player's do something forces like? are under attack. Frost armor. That's, that's almost funny. Alright, ally losing the archer. Not sure what that was for. Might lose his warden if he's not careful. Ancient of War doing a bunch of nothing, just taking damage. Wisps. But, uh, he's gonna go ahead and say that he knows what he's doing. I hope. <laughs> Let's that bugger get away. Looking very... There he goes. Now it's making sense. So Red has a nice expansion going over here. He has one tower up. It's attack. not entirely secure, but he has it going up. And it's there. It's up. And Walter White, level 2 on his warden. Very good hero for uh, a night elf, as you already know. 
I wish they had, like, when you click on them, they actually say what they want to say. Like, alright, whatever. Slow games going right now. Getting a nice heal with my Torn Chieftain. Almost level 3. 6 experience shy. Definitely going to get level 3 off this. Uh, do I have buildings coming? Blacksmith. Easy camp to creep out. Especially when you have uh, Torn Chieftain. So Walter's saying he's been creeping sloppily. You know. What did he sell? I think he sold a uh, wand of mana steel. It might have been useful later. But 200 gold is 200 gold. Um, he doesn't have anything in terms of units. And that's rather disappointing. I mean, you want units. Um, I mean, if they were to rush, that's game. What? doesn't look like much is going on here. I mean, this guy could be getting a couple of riflemen. Uh, it looks like he already started a couple of riflemen for this side. Uh, I wonder what this blacksmith's for. Oh, here we go. Arcane Sanctum. So I'm getting my expansion up on my own. Players' forces uh, are under attack. Rather simple. Warden trying to do a little bit of harass. Forced a TP? Horse of TP. That's 350 gold. Uh, Warden, no mana. Clearly likes to be hit with that arcane tower for some reason. Yeah, just at least more mana. So now he has absolutely no mana. And he might get trapped if he doesn't play his cards right. Okay, so I'm putting up my expansion and I'm trying to set foot, uh, trying to find out what they're doing with the, their expansion. I see what's going on with the Walter White thing, so I definitely think this is a good time to engage. Town is under siege. Or at least figure out what to do right now, depending on what this is doing. I'm seeing that that's going up. Uh, Red's done creeping over here. Decides to come down to me, so nice meeting right now. Might get us around on that Naga. Uh, terrible engagement. That was maybe a frustrating stomp, like a... Uh, Damn it! Like a fuck! But, uh, I managed to back away. These towers should be almost up. Or not. Actually, they are just going underway. And I will lose a footman here. Or not. I lose a footman here. Or not. Yep, I'm definitely gonna lose footman now. But I did manage to take one down. Um, forces are under attack. That stomp is epic. I love that stomp. I'm managing to back them off, or him off, at least. Uh, this expansion's underway. This expansion's well up. And, uh, yeah, there's not really much I can do with a couple of footmen there, so I'm waiting for my, uh, for my units, which, what the fuck? Like, a player's forces are under attack. it's like a, what the fuck? Alright, we'll go with that. So now Walter White has engagement in his base. Micro those archers, dude. Those footmen will tear your shreds. Micro that archer. Uh, for some reason, he's in his base, but he's TPing to his base. Scared of another frost nova that couldn't happen. Uh, please, please do something, buddy. There you go. Uh, so, a player's forces are under yeah. attack. This is secure now. I have a bunch of towers. Probably has no upgrades on the towers. Uh, enemy has up one upgrade on the tower. Beastmaster second. So he, Leonardo Hansky is just slowly building this town hall, which is very, very vulnerable. Uh, somehow we got that lich. I didn't. Ah, I didn't quite catch it. We got that lich. Maybe a little uh, shadow strike, stomp action. And now I'm like, come on, dude, let's, let's keep this out strong. Almost level four in that TC. Uh, what's my second hero? So I got a Dark Ranger. I like that Dark Ranger. It's so sexy. Okay, what item we got? Poka Shadow is probably the worst item at this point. 
but it's all right. So priest, rifleman, uh, the other ally has spell breakers. Against nothing with spells so far. I don't know what he's saying. Thank you, thank you for. I'm probably pulling him gold or something. Which he should be getting more units out. A few archers, and we're at the 11 minute mark. A player's force. I mean, granted, I only have a couple heroes and a footman, but I'm definitely spamming out units now. At least it should be. Maybe just mass rifles. But he is going up for this expansion. Uh, we kind of are bringing him back here. This is a terrible time to start an expansion. Come on. End this thing. Might kill that Beastmaster. We might kill that Beastmaster. They went crazy over my Dark Ranger. Like That was like the biggest deal or something. Yeah, that Dark Ranger wasn't the biggest deal in this. Uh, might definitely going to lose this uh, town, this uh, expansion. Here. He's very low in health. Gotta run away. Run away! Um, yeah, he's gotta, he's gotta stop this. Cancel. Cancel, buddy. Come on, all of them. Cancel. Another one cancels. Another one cancels. Another one. Okay. A lot of detonates. Come on. Detonate. Okay. So we definitely need to heal. Am I waiting for the resources? I definitely have the money. Heal. Popping that pot real quick. Nah, I mean. Alright, so I have a few rifle out. Uh, definitely this expansion isn't going to go anywhere. It has one upgrade now. Um, this could go somewhere. I mean, there's only two towers protecting it. Uh, this one's just underway. A player's and forces are under about attack. half health. Right, so this uh, Quill B Scout is going to be taken down. Not going to be able to see my base, what I'm building. I am building a workshop right now. Try to get some morts or something like that. Uh, something to combat, you know, the, the units. Tell my ally to get units. Um, he has Ancient of Wind. I'm not sure what he's doing. I mean, this is how he has no gold and... Oh, he, he is building up some archers, but... And he has a Dark Ranger of his own. Alright, so we, we're just massing piercing at this point for some reason. Uh, piercing's not going to do very well against, well, maybe against that griffin and that priest. Uh, but everything else, not going to do much. I believe those footmen do have defend. Uh, Walter White is trying to creep, try to get strong. Um, he's not going to get level 5 off this. Uh, he should back out to get his Dark Ranger level 2. Nice item, I think that was Claws or Circlet. One of the two, but either way, it was a good idea. Or a good pick. Um, I am trying to engage here. I'm trying to coerce him to do something. Get something going here. Um, focus on a Rifleman, because at least I can get one kill out of this. Uh, you better not block me. Don't block me. No, Dark Ranger goes down. Another stomp after another stomp. I'm not really doing much with those stomps. Those are pretty bad stomps. Um, I think I was just waiting for them, uh, Walter White to come here with all those archers, uh, which uh, my riflemen are going down. I just had to back off. Uh, Walter White now needs to back off. I'm going to lose more units, and this isn't looking good. So I have a bunch of gold still. Um, what do we got coming over here? So he's going hippos? Hippo riders. Looks like he's going to do some riders. Um, again, just more piercing damage uh, that we probably don't need, but I'm still building. Uh, definitely Morts is something we need right now. I'm getting my third hero out. Oh no, I'm just throwing back that Dark Ranger back into the field. Some uh, healing going on, so a Sorceress for slow. Um, stuff like that. Uh, this isn't good. Dragonhawk riders will pretend like those towers don't even exist. So it looks like I'm going to quick lose a peasant. Really not much I could have done in that at that point. Um, must have just tried to grab a TP or something like that. I got a TP, uh, um, Invuln Posh, Potion. Gloves of Haste, maybe a little better for that Dark Ranger. 
Uh, so yeah, he does have hippogriffs out. Not gonna do much in you know, one person army. Knights coming out, that's that's deadly. So yeah, this isn't a very good engagement two on one right now, but Walter is coming up from the side, from the back end. Trying to take down that level four Naga Sea Witch. Uh, my TC getting focused hard. It's okay because I do have that potion. Forces a TP. Uh, my TC may need to get the force out of there. Not enough for a stomp, uh, but he does get out of there. Uh, there wasn't much in the way. Um, come on, Walter. Yes. Managed to take down that Lich, and I believe that Naga Sea Witch. Um, the rest of my units are okay. We can handle this. Uh, he should be taking back his units and running those away because there's not much he's doing there except defeating us. I believe I just got level 5 on that TC. Woo! Level 5. So yeah, now we're pretty powerful um, after that engagement. Uh, went totally in our favor. I don't think I lost much in terms of units. Uh, yeah, sub 67 supply. My ally has... Are under attack. Uh, 39 supply, uh, the enemy 30, and 63. So red's still in it, and I'm still in it. My ally just has a few archers. Uh, we should try to take down this expansion. Walter has a great idea. I don't know what I was doing. Probably just get another potion or two. Uh, scroll of healing, just in case. The town is under siege. Walter White up here, taking down those towers. Looks like he won't be successful because here's a huge army coming after him. Player's forces are under attack. Um, not to mention that Arcane Tower is doing loads of damage on that uh, warden in terms of what's going on with his mana. Uh, it looks like I'm wandering, telling him to go back so I can probably pick off some units or something uh, as they're rallying. And that's what I find. I find some units that are rallying. So I'm, I'm coming in. Flanking from the side, gonna take down Mort. Uh, got a minion coming out, scouting. That's a big army of air. So I'm glad we have all that piercing. So I'm coming over here, I'm gonna find this. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, we gotta stay here. Uh, try to get some good position because they're trying to flank us, and I don't wanna lose units like that. Mort is very uh, bad position. Uh, might lose something because of the air. Uh, allies now, we're, we're now matched together, um, trying to get my things right. Turning back around, gonna lose that Rifleman. Uh, might need to micro more Rifleman if I have the chance. Uh, nice stomp, a lot of melee units, uh, a couple of heroes getting stomped right there. Uh, use that scroll of post, uh, potion, healing, scroll of healing. Uh, might have to get back here. Uh, might lose that TC if I don't move my units back. Alright, so TC gets out of there. Uh, now we can refocus on what's going on. Uh, gotta keep my TC back. Uh, Mort has to go back a little bit more, uh, but it is focused down. A um, couple, uh, Walter has a couple units, but he didn't really micro it away from the melee units and it was took advantage. Uh, allies did lose a lot, uh, enemy did lose a lot in that scenario. Chieftain is being a little gung ho. Uh, almost lost that TC. Uh, but it's okay because that Lich just went down and forced that other TP, and they put up the good game without saying good game. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Stay tuned for game two. Holy shit, the amount of Wetlands games I've casted. All random heroes. Can you tell that I'm kind of sick of Wetlands? Probably not, but... Alright. So we got Opex and Walter White. Another uh, 2 vs 2 random heroes games taking place on our favorite map. Picked a thing of one of the observers, and it looks like Walter is a night elf player. I am another human player versus undead and human. Kiyosuke, I believe, is uh, that noob that I played with earlier. Uh, not a very good player. 
but we'll see what his night uh undead buddy here lucas capucci going a quick fiend build it looks like uh, he just needs a crypt i mean i think that would help right something like that right so i'm gonna speed this shit up Walter White trying that creep camp again. Uh, hopefully he does a little bit better this time in terms of uh, being able to creep down or take down this uh, creep camp without any problems. A but we'll see. Forces are under attack. All right. So that went underway. Paladin, very good uh, hero to open up. Crip Lord for the undead, and Pit Lord for the human. And we have a Tinker for Walter. That actually should really help him creep out some creep camps. Um, that should definitely help him up here if he doesn't get too close. I mean, I don't know where that. All right. A player's forces are under attack. So that Pit Lord did uh, do Rain of Fire. In my opinion, that. That's a really good spell, but it has its weaknesses. Crypt Lord, very powerful hero. Um, it looks like he didn't do the beetle thing. He didn't go that route. Uh, probably attacked uh, either Harden, whatever, which I don't know if that adds plus. No, yeah, it would. It would be plus armor, so never mind. He didn't get that Harden skin, whatever the fuck that is. So he didn't pass. Oh, he did get beetles. So Walter is making much easier work this time with this creep camp uh, with the help of that pocket factory. Enemy Pit Lord, a little gung ho, coming down here to uh, try to do some harassment on the, this wisps. This would be his target right here. That rain of fire. Let's see what happens. Doesn't want to get hit by that thing. Um, nope. Doesn't even see the wisps. So he's going after this. Um, not doing much. Um, probably should switch out. Oh, he did. Did he only have four in the mine? I'm confused. Oh. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, I just said it. You had four in mine. Crip Lord, trying to get to level three. Not gonna achieve it off that creep camp necessarily. Uh, so this human over here just has a few AFK units trying to do a nice tech, just starting this tech, and try to do a simple harass with that pit lord. Tinker's in, um, not trying to do any damage for some reason. Uh, if it was me, I could probably get a nice surround on that pit lord, seeing how he has a no mana. I would surround him with wisps. See, I, I told you this guy sucks. He just TP'd out of there when he could have walked out of there. So, Walter's having a fun time playing him. Uh, this undead right here does not want to be Team Lightning right now. That would be a really bad news bears, but he is out of mana. The uh, Necrolite. Um, but still might lose a Fiend. He's not careful. Uh, especially this one. This one might go down. Oh, oh, ah! Goes down. A right, so that human is trying to do a nice uh, expansion, or at least creep it out. I, my paladin, instead of wasting mana, I want to uh, do some scrolls, some clarity pots. Um, and then the undead is going to try to clear this out once again. Shouldn't have a problem with beetles and skeleton minions as long as this creep doesn't cast like lightning shield or uh, chain lightning on him. Level three on that crypt lord. Um, so I'm telling my LA to check the expansion, and I'm checking this expansion. Attack. And what do I find? I find a crypt lord, level three. Which oh that would have been a great time for that holy light, and I might have had level three holy light. I'm not sure what I tech. I was waiting for him just to go under that mark where I knew uh, he would have died off a of holy light, but he was he managed to get out of there. 
Anyways, so we have a Pit Lord going up against a Paladin. Who usually wins in that? The fucking Paladin. Paladin's a boss. Holy Light, you know, takes him down. Attack. That might be level 2 Holy Light. I think that did a decent amount of damage. Yeah, that did like 200 damage, so that's that's a Holy Light. Uh, Hollow Terror, in other uh, words, is a really, really strong spell. Underrated. Uh, but I am going ham on that Crip, uh, Pit Lord. I want him down. Uh, he took a healing pot, but I have tons of mana. And I want to just, I don't care how many footmen I lose, I'm taking down that level. Yep. Took down that Pit Lord. Uh, now that Crip Lord wants some more. You don't fuck with that Paladin, motherfucker. But I have no more mana. So, but I know that both of their heroes are undead. And I know that that Paladin eats up those undead heroes. So I was just basically feeding him. But it's alright. I took down that Pit Lord. And Tinker decides to come in way late. Might lose his archers. Um, as you can see, I have Priest out now. Um, Paladin trying to get some items. You know, I, I just gained a decent amount of experience. Almost level 4 in my Paladin. Um, just use a bunch of pots and healing shits. You see my clarity going off. I have another clarity. Um, you know, I know that, you know, if those heroes are low, uh, it looks like I am lagging. That lag. I must be lagging big because my Keeper of the Grove almost went all the way to him. So my second hero is a Keeper of the Grove. Uh, it's great to entangle and then, you know, uh, Holy Light the one of those Pit Lord or Crypt Lords. So where is this guy's altar? Oh, way over the here. Town is so that Pit Lord is still coming up. He's trying to train up his second hero. Um... Crip Lord's over here. He's almost level 4, so he's a little gung-ho. If, if he manages to actually kill this instead of Walter... Okay, you better heal that. Walter wisps on it now. A little late, and two wisps I don't think is going to do much. Um, it looks like I am trying to come down with that that Paladin. Going... Yep, and Tangle. And Holy Light. That Paladin is now level 4. That shit is awesome. That shit is awesome. Come on. That shit is awesome. Alright, so heal up that uh, expansion. I'm glad you have your expansion going. Uh, continually getting those priests. It looks like I'm switching to riflemen uh, to get some aim, and I can also uh, focus down units a lot better than using footmen, let's say, or even spell breakers. So it looks like I'm going to creep out this expansion. Now that I destroyed both of those undead heroes with the, the best anti undead hero. That paladin. Looks like I did not go for aura at all, because that aura would be over here. So that's that's in a sense a great thing because um, then I get my divine shield and I can focus down those heroes. And basically, that's like a scary thing to have. Um, that paladin chasing you, especially if I get that level 5. That's just a like, please dude, are under um, that's town just like leaving the game. You might as well leave the game. But Shadow Hunter could combat that heal uh, with that healing uh, wave. Tinker and Torn Chieftain trying to be a little gung-ho on those towers. There's only three, but it's a strong enough thing, especially if that Pit Lord comes in. Uh, it's going to do a lot of damage. Um, so I'm in here now, and I'm spotting these units. Uh, not quite close enough to get in tangle off and focus down his unit, but he is red as being a little stupid in this scenario. Uh, trying to focus on that guard, because I don't want to mass enough guards. Probably wasted that holy weight on that, but it is what it is. Units uh, pulling back. Still train up more riflemen, so if he is trying that guard strat, it is going to go down. So that holy light is doing a lot of damage and tangle, so that I can pretty much secure all them kills. I mean, if they were to stick around with ease, you know, entangle, holy light, entangle, holy light, just mass that shit. Uh, Crip Lord does not want to be back out on the field yet, or at least soon. So if I probably don't see him right now, I don't think I do see him. Uh, but now I definitely see him. Players and I, I don't know what's going on. 
taking down units. Uh, definitely got to get away from that rain of fire. That was a great use of uh, impale right there. Lost a uh, priest. Ghouls coming out. Um, so this paladin does have to back off. He has enough, you know, heals to heal up my army. But oh, it looks like a hex did go down on my rifleman, securing another rifleman kill. I uh, tried to heal him right there, but my paladin was too far behind before I realized it was getting hexed. Um, we are now back here. I do have morts again. And as you can see, I like to go morts in, uh, against fiends and stuff of that nature and riflemen. Because morts are under attack. In the backfield, not getting hurt. So that entangle going off again. Holy light going off. Just doing a little bit of damage here and there. Uh, this is a nice little choke point I have here, so I could entangle him again and try that holy light again. Uh, should entangle him right now. Oh, got that uh, pushing in vulnerability. I do lose a, a rifleman. He does have howl, howl of terror, which is a beast against humans. Um, still continuing to push. A pretty good push going on for both sides. Um, it looks well defended. I think those farms in very decent places. Good choke points. Um, especially if I'm doing range, those more times back. Just doing a hell of a lot of damage back here that, you know, he's probably not even noticing until he's like, Oh, where's my units? You know, they're not in the front and they're getting hit. Uh, Shadow Hunter looks like, oh, nice uh, use of a healing pot, it looks like, and a healing wave. But is it enough? Oh, nice. Was that, was that rockets in the background? I didn't see that. Might have tried to hit him with those rockets. All right. So it looks like we're good right now. Uh, very strong. This expansion's still up. Walter White's expansion, my ally's still up. Uh, tons of gold. I think he asked for lumber earlier. And I could be giving him. We should be switching resources right now. Like, here's a... 200 lumber, give me 500. Yeah, he just gave me some some gold. So I should be giving him some lumber any second now. Just friendly stuff. I mean, that's what you should be doing. Work as a team. We don't want to hit undead. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever notice how bad fighting at undead bases is. But we forced a TP from the noob. We forced him out of there. We forced him there, and we didn't even attack. So we're going to just take down that expansion with ease. Wow. A player's forces are under attack. Wow. Alright, so they're trying to come back over here. Just a couple ghouls, a couple fiends, a uh, statue or two. A couple spellbreakers. Not enough to take me down, that's for sure. So I was expecting the attack from the other side. But uh, it looks like i got to back off those morts and focus down. Decent impale. I don't think that's going to be game changing whatsoever. Uh, Paladin and Keeper getting low on health, but I can always heal up my Keeper. All the terror went off. Oh, a little bit of lag going down. Actually, a lot of lag. So, this is actually quite an engagement. I might lose a lot of units here. Uh, with that rain of fire doing all that damage, but that pit lord does go down. Was it really worth it, buddy? Um, even purple peasants are trying to be in battle. Um, we have bears out. Not bears, we have druids of the claw. It is master form. I don't know what's going on. I keep getting pop ups now. A town is under some siege. Some shit I don't care about. Alright, so we're going to easily take down this expansion. Uh, I think I did see Griffins. Griffins are out. Looks like a couple Spellbreakers might be coming out. Uh, Red's over here. You know, a Fiend. A few statues. Uh, not much to get in the way of what just even I have. I should be able to take down both those armies by myself. If I micro properly. Not to mention Master Bears and Dryads. Level 4 Tinker, another Keeper of the Grove, you know, my Keeper of the Grove level 3, Paladin level 5, that's like hero nuking extreme. 
because it's right now 60 food the players forces are under and attack. 63 food versus 46 and 49 so we have a little bit of an advantage here um, especially with gold now that their things down and our expansions up uh, hex going off on paladin that sounds like a waste of gold I mean uh, mana Oh, I'm really fucking up. Alright, Destroyer's coming in. Uh, I think I spotted him. I'm not entirely sure. But I do spot him. Need to go in there and focus down those Destroyers. Get some nice experience. Um, and doing just that. Took down one Destroyer. Getting flanked from behind. We'll lose the Priest. Going after the Paladin. I think it's like purple is like gung-ho on that Paladin for some reason. Very, very scared of that paladin. Um, I could use Divine Shield, so it doesn't really bother me. I'm just soaking up more uh, HP. Doesn't bother me whatsoever. Shouldn't put an entangle on something. I don't think I'm using much in terms of entangles. Oh, yes, I am. I'm, I'm spamming out them entangles. So one guy left, Lucas, whatever his name is, and we have the Griffin guy who just left. So another win for the Opex Walter White Dynasty, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for more content. I will bring out more content shortly.